and I wasn't very political in college, but after uh, I graduated, you know, so the Iraq War starts in 2003, and then I, I really sort of started paying a lot of attention to that. I was really interested in online data sets, and I had this set of skills that was really uh, well ad adapted to uh, obtaining and analyzing those data sets. I just became a natural sort of uh, way to position myself as somebody who writes a lot of code and is able to use that to analyze uh, data for, in my case, um, online political expression. The Arab Spring was a really big story in 2011, and then Black Lives Matter is a really big story in 2014. And so much of this stuff happens, I mean, even for the activists that are involved in it, right, they're so immersed in the day-to-day -day of, you know, uh, getting people out there and, and trying to figure out how to respond to the latest incidents um, and trying to figure out what to do next that they don't really have the opportunity to look back and chronicle how it happened, who was there, who wasn't there. I think that's the role that research plays, is to be able to document these kinds of things and to and to sort of prevent the, the, the rewriting of, of history through people's memories, which, which as we know are very faulty. To be a world-class researcher, if you're working with any kind of digital communication data, understanding how to code is extremely important. When I came to UNC, I started the Computational Communication Research Lab, and it kind of came out of the fact that I was doing a whole lot of, of coding, and I was finding it very difficult to attract grad students who were really interested in that. I thought that the lab would be a really nice way to uh, create a hub where people could come and understand that this is going to be a priority here and that they'll be able to get really good training in computational methods so that when they leave, uh, they'll be able to be qualified for not only academic positions, but also professional positions that require a substantial degree of uh, computational expertise. You know, all coding is really is instructions. And so understanding just that point and how it's done, I think really just conceptually opens you up to just a, a different way of looking at software in the world that we live in. And I think it really helps you appreciate a lot of what makes the contemporary world run.